not going to be for you long. I'm going to do two pieces. Um, the first one is called God is Not Santa Claus. And the second one is Trickster. So God is not Santa Claus. <clears throat> God is not Santa Claus. Some fictitious character whose only goal is to shower us with gifts and presents. He's our Father, God Almighty. He's both omniscient and omnipresent. He's not a genie in a bottle who we keep in a lantern, only to be taken out when we have a wish that we need granted. Treating him like we're so holy and he's the one contaminated. Our dirty lips don't even deserve the ability to call him a name so pure. When we're sick, his name alone has the power to be the cure. When did we become the masters, expecting him to do what we say? I'm sorry, boo boo, but this ain't Burger King. We can't always have it our way. We don't act like children of God. We act like intestines, twisted and full of mess. We turn our back on him so much and wonder why our lives are so full of stress. If things aren't going right, it can't possibly be because we're sowing into infertile ground. Oh no, we blame God for our lives going in circles like a merry-go-round. Man, we got a lot of nerve. We pray for a job, then complain about the pay. We ask for direction, but then go the opposite way. We pray for a mate, and when he grants us our wish, we try to get that mate back because they don't fit the criteria from our checklist. We pray for forgiveness, but we have an alt against our brother. But John 13 and 34 says the way Christ loved us is how we should love one another. I think God is grace and sufficient because we definitely deserve the flames. I just pray when that day comes, that book contains all of our names. next piece is Trickster. And I wrote this during a time when I felt like everything and everybody was just against me. Everything was going wrong and I'm just hearing the enemy in my ear. It was just a lot of stuff going on. The trickster is getting tricky trying to trick me into tricking off my gifts. See, he plays with my mind all the while trying to find different ways he can wind up my emotions. My emotions run strong when people think of me wrong and I don't know how much longer I can take this. Deep breaths I take when at night I lay awake asking God why did he forsake me. Sometimes I sit and cry and think we might be better to die because when I show a little love people tell a big lie but God said hold your head up high. For I know the plans I have for you and things that I need you to do. Remember one plus one plus one plus you equals two. So you're not alone. See, when they talk about you, they are talking about me because you were made in my image and that's my spirit they see. Touch not my anointing because it's a time that's appointed for judgment of all those whose growth has been stunted by jealousy and backbiting by grieving my spirit and lying. False prophets and heresy are designed to keep you deceived and to keep you from receiving the fullness of me. So watch the company you keep. Everyone that says bad is not my sheep. My sheep know my voice, so when I speak, make the right choice and choose this day who you will serve. Do you believe man or do you believe me? When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Because I see a person with limitless possibilities, possibly the most beautiful person in the world, because you look just like me. So don't be tricked by the tricks that get moved out of position. Position to a position is not for you. Be bold and stand strong. Speak the truth and expose the wrong, knowing I'll be back, and it won't be too long. Thank you. 